Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe, and I've been asked to uh, show, uh, do a little tutorials here, maybe show you guys how to handle uh, ripping TV uh, discs, Blu-rays, and uh, DVDs for television shows and make them work properly with Plex, handle the renaming problems, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and this, uh, this was a big challenge for me when I got started, so I was hoping uh, maybe I can help somebody out and uh, save them all the trouble that I had. All right, so we're going to take a DVD of the uh, television show Six Feet Under. It's an older show. I've got disc two here inside of DVD Fab. This is my ripping software. And uh, we're going to cut some corners here to keep the video short. I've already actually done the ripping, uh, but I did want to show you a couple things in the interface you may not be familiar with that may help you out. Now, in this case, it doesn't, um, but it can help you out in the future. Um, so there's a couple things you need to know here. So first of all, this is just straight up DVD fab. I stuck the disc in, it read the disc, and these are the items that it came up with. It understood these were all TV shows, or they understood that I needed all of them. Sometimes it won't show smaller files, so sometimes you do have to go in and choose uh, other titles. Um, sometimes it'll only show the, small, the larger ones, like for a movie in which case you'll only see one. Even though you know there's that more episodes on there, you'll need to go in to choose others and make sure you get all of the TV episodes that you want. Um, you may also wish to um, capture, at this point in time, you may want to capture other audio tracks that may have, say, uh, commentary. You may want to handle doing um, subtitles. All right, uh, so that's all standard DVD fab stuff. Now, once you rip it, um, if you see here, I've got Six Feet Under Season 1, Disc 2, and I ripped assuming all of these by default. So the title that comes up here is what shows up in the file name. Now, these file names can cause a problem with Plex, uh, so you're going to want to rename those somewhat intelligently. Um, now, if you're ripping your own set, you should probably know that on Disc 2, if I open up the Six Feet Under package here, I know uh, which of these episodes is which. So I could name them right now. Um, but really, all I really need to know is what episode number and what season we're talking about. Um, so this is uh, episode 4, 5, 6, and 7 of season 1. That's important to note. Now, let's say, for example, this was a more popular show that's been ripped recently by some other DVD fab member. You may be able to use this little feature, which is called Meta Info. Now I'm going to go in here. This does not have any meta info. You may have to switch to TV show. It depends on how it comes up. Um, so you may actually get information here. They might actually already have the show names for you. In this case, they don't because nobody's actually contributed to this uh, disc yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do it just for fun. Um, I'm going to change the title um, to season one. And this is disc two of season one. Um, this is episode, I know this is episode four. Oops. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And I actually even know the name myself, right? Because I happen to have the disc set sitting right in here. So why not? So I'm going to go ahead and put in these names myself. The Room, what a great episode. If you're six feet under fans, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so now I've actually denoted all of this info myself. It's season one, it's episode four, and this is the name. Now I can upload this for other DVD fab users to uh, use, right? It doesn't, I don't earn anything, but I can upload it now, and um, I'll get a little credit in my, my uh, profiler, uh, or my DVD fab uh, profile. Um, but what will happen is, is if I ever want to rip this disc again, this information will be waiting for me. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, great, if I've got the names and I know what episodes they are, right, and somebody else had already done the work for me. Oops, nothing to upload, sorry. Um, does, why, why isn't the name here, right? You can go in here and edit the names, but why can't I use the metadata? Why can't I just right-click on this metadata and say, copy to title, that would make way too much sense, right? I've been asking for this for some time with DVD Fab, and they're going to consider it. But it makes sense to me. You've got this metadata. Why would you not want this metadata to populate over here? Um, and for most people, I can understand why, because they're going to use a tool like Plex, which should pick up the names automatically 
and populate for you so the naming convention doesn't really matter. But I'm a, I'm a stickler. I prefer to have proper names on my files. So you could leave these by default, and that's exactly what I did here. Now let me show you why this can be a problem. Um, so if you look at the metadata for one of these particular files that's been ripped, okay, all of the movie properties are unentered except for this title. It defaulted the title name to what was here. If this title name is default and it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't say season one, episode four, or season one, episode five, season one, episode six, if it's not named properly, this title can cause you problems later with Plex. It took me forever to figure this out. Uh, so I'm helping you out here. So you've got a couple of different choices here. Um, you can, if you're proactive, you could go in and at least change this. So you could do season 01, episode, you know, 04, all right? And then when you ripped this episode, when you do the rip again, um, this will actually come up and read exactly what this is, all right? So you can do it that way. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, well, Shane, I'll just rename it now. Who cares? What's the big deal? I'll just rename it right now. Ah, you rename it but it still doesn't change the title. And there's a setting in Plex that will always revert back to this title versus the name of the file. In fact, it'll even rip metadata for you, but still show you the wrong title and it will make you crazy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I copied, if you look over here, um, just for an example, I copied a couple of files over from this folder. I copied them over to my Plex server and I went ahead and renamed a couple of them. Let's look at the metadata here. Huh? The title is still that weird one, but I renamed them properly. I kept a couple that were unnamed, right? So there's no way you could tell this was season one, episode six or seven. Plex isn't going to know what to do with that, so it's probably going to ignore it. So then I went ahead and I made sure that it was in my TV shows and I let Plex try to pick it up, right? So it did understand because I had a six feet under folder that it's six feet under. It also knew that I was in a season, season one. So there is a season one denoted. But look at this. I've got two episodes here, and look at this. There should be no reason. If you look over here and you see six feet under, one by four, MP4, and you look over here going, where did it even get that from? Why is it saying that? That's ridiculous. And no matter what you do, you're going to sit there and fight with it and try to figure out why it's doing that. However, it's all because of this nonsense. So what if, just for fun, Let's say we changed it to that, right? Let me apply that. All right, so it makes a quick copy of the file. It adds the, the, uh, the stuff to it. This is a little longer. It takes over a, a network here, but essentially what it's doing is it's making a new copy of it with the new metadata. So let's see what Plex does if I change the title here just to prove that I know what I'm talking about. So uh, again, I probably should have done this over the network. It'd be a lot faster. Uh, but once this is done, um, you'll see what I mean. And again, if you look at, say, this one or one of these other ones, you can see that the title is still something wacky. Yeah, it's still going. It's almost done. It's goofy. You should be able to just work the data directly, but this is a directory opus thing. I don't typically do this sort of thing over the network. I do it locally. All right, so uh, what we're going to want... Okay, so it's done. It finished. So let's verify. Yep. Definitely correct there. Now, let's do a rescan. See if this disposition changes a little bit. It may not. It may be kind of locked in here now. Do a force refresh of the metadata. There. Exactly. Look, and you're still saying, why isn't it named the episode? I've given it the season and the episode. Why is Plex being stupid and come and not going out and getting the metadata? That was one of the big selling points of Plex is that it gets all the metadata and the actors and the description. And yet if we go in here, well, well wait a minute. It's got the direction. and But where's the damn title of the show? It's missing. Look at this. It even tells you the whole episode thing. It knows the episode, but it's not giving me the right title. Why? The whole trick is this title. Now, if you really want to, you can go set the title yourself here, which is absolutely ridiculous. Don't, don't do that. 
So how do you fix this? It's a gruesome little setting inside a Plex, and it's hard to find, and I'm going to show you right now. This is worth this whole video. Go to Settings. Go to Agents. Um, I don't know if you need to be in Advanced or not, but if you do, just make sure you show Advanced. Go to Shows. This, By the way, this works with movies, too, so don't be fooled. Um, I'm just showing you how to do it for TV shows. Look at this little line right here, local media assets, local media assets. When you see local media assets, that translates into use the metadata. And this metadata is not complete. So how do you fix this nonsense? For every TV show type, move local media assets down so that it's not the first thing. You want TVDB to be the first thing. In this case, it doesn't really matter because this is the movie database. I don't even know why they do that. I personally prefer to have local media assets always turned off. If it's turned off, they can't screw you over. Perfect. If you're smart, you'll go in and do it for movies too. Or move it down and or disable it. Move it down and or disable it. Perfect. Now, things should happen a little bit differently. Let's take a look. Oh, Shane, it's still there. Well, you got to refresh the data. Now, you can do a scan library, but I don't think that will pick it up. You'll need to forcibly go back in and refresh the metadata for this show, right? So go back to the show and forcibly refresh the metadata four, six feet under. Oh, yeah. Familia and an open book. We have perfection. We've got the title, we've got all the metadata, we've got the thumbnail, everything is exactly the way it should be. Many Bothans died to bring you this information, folks, so keep that in mind. So that's how you do it. Now, a lot of you are going to be very picky. You're saying, hey, you know, I really don't want to rename these by hand, or could I rename these in a manner that meets standard kind of television show naming conventions, right? Um, so you can do that. One of the tools you want to start with is this tool called FileBot. It's like six bucks a year, totally worth it. Um, if you grab, so this is episode one by four, right? Uh, and we know that that is Familia. So if I move this over here and I hit match and match the TVDB, see, it's, it's, it's not, it tries, but it's not, not, not quite there, right? So let me nuke that one off and let's try it again. So what if my naming convention were actually Season 01, Episode 04, right? So let's say I, I chose my naming conventions better. Aha, now we've got it. Now we hit Rename, and boom, now we have good standard naming conventions, right? So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to say Season 1 by 5, or we could do... Um, I think uh, I, I've only worked with FileBot a little bit, but if you do Season 1, Episode 5, let's see if that one relates. An open book. Perfect. Rename it. Now, obviously, you'll want to do this en masse, right? Um, so now that we've renamed them on our Plex server, we're going to have to go through and make sure we rescan the library files. And, of course, we'll want to go in and rescan our metadata just to make sure everything's good. All right, so the episodes are still here. Let's just make sure they actually play, right? All right, so it under. All right, so we understand that all worked. Good, perfect. Now let's do one more check. Get info. That'll tell us exactly what the name of the file is and where it is on our server. Perfect. It's perfectly named. It's perfectly tagged, and it shows up properly inside a Plex. Whew, that's a lot of work, right? Well, listen. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this sa this would have saved me hours upon hours upon hours of frustration and banging my head on the wall. So I'm hoping this helps somebody else out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, hit subscribe, like, tweet, do whatever you need to do to help other people out. Uh, we appreciate it. This is Shane Armandro. Thanks for watching.